Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Gentlemen's Club Whiskey. I am your host, Mr. Mark Antimate. So, in previous episodes, you've seen me use these two corkscrews right here. You got the single hinge one and then you got the double hinge. The double hinge one, the corkscrew worked a lot better, but the knife on this single hinge one was a lot better. And on this corkscrew that I really like with the double hinge, the knife is serrated and it just doesn't work that well. So what I got here today is this foil cutter and it has little cutters on four sides to get all four corners of the bottle cap. So this one is from a brand, at least it looks French. It's called uh, Le Crusette and we're going to see if this works good, but obviously made in China. Let's go ahead and open this one up out of the package and let's see if we can get to it all right that was quite tough to get out of the package still actually trying to get it out you got your instruction manual there which we don't need and we have this right here with the four cutters on the back let's see if we could just put this on here and make it work how we would like it to just go all the way around And I guess I should have did that a little bit tighter. As you can see, it did leave a line going all the way around. An even line, should I, might I add, but we need to get it on there a lot better. And let's push it a lot tighter this time. There we go. That's what you want to see. Cuts it nice and simply. And look at how smoothly that foil comes off just a quick story back a long time ago with uh wine that might be uh, before the 80s or yeah let's just say before the 80s a lot of these foils used to have lead inside of there and it could contaminate the taste of the wine which is why you don't want this touching your bottle cap and you want to cut it evenly so that it it does not touch the bottle the bottle top at all but you know in the last uh, let's say two decades the last three decades there's no more lead inside of here so it doesn't really matter if it kind of touches anymore or rubs or if your wine even was to touch it in some sort of way but you know just for old time's sake and for aesthetic purposes you want to have a beautiful cut going all the way around for presentation purposes that's the word of the day so how much do i like this thing without even reading the instructions and just using it as you imagine that how it would be used from intuition this thing works perfectly i just needed to hold it a little bit tighter because that first cut just it just made an indentation line going all the way around but it didn't necessarily cut it but once you press it together and you add some force and then you turn it it makes for a perfect cut you know what before we end this video let's go ahead and open this one up since we've already made it this far and then we'll call it a day let's get that right inside the center there and let's take this all the way down okay we got that down we're gonna press this back side like this and we're gonna lift this down all right it looks like we need to do just one more turn there okay there we go let's lift this up push it down one pull almost got the whole thing let's take it back again nice and examine make sure that nothing is wrong with the cork wine smells good 
not like I really need to smell it. It's something very new. What are we drinking by by the way? This is Alma Andina Reserve Malbec 2018. Just a very cheap one. Nothing special. Pour a nice little glass there. And let's put the top on this for later. All right, gentlemen. I would like to thank you all for watching. Salute to you wherever you may be out inside the world. Make sure that you guys drink responsibly. And as always, gentlemen, you guys know what to do. Keep it classy. I'm out. Thank you.